Hi everybody, this is Reese Barber from Audiology Associates. Thanks very much for watching that earwax removal compilation video today. Apologies for not posting a video on Monday. Uh, we've taken on a new member of staff and I've been doing training all day that day, so I didn't really get a chance to do a video, unfortunately. But we're back today. Uh, we've got three good ones. Uh, you must stay tuned for the last one. The last one is a really, really good one. So stay tuned for that one. Now this particular patient, bless him, uh, been feeling really, really blocked up and you can see why. We've got this dark, sticky, soft wax stuck against the eardrum here. So it's actually sandwiched into the uh, little recess just in front of the eardrum and stuck all over the drum itself. So I've taken some of the uh, bigger pieces away here, but I'm just uh, popping a little bit of olive oil in just to loosen everything up. And uh, we're just starting to take some of this away and off the eardrum. Now this patient had been suffering with you know, quite a few issues with their hearing on this side. Basically, this had followed um, a feeling of sort of a blocked up sensation. Patient had thrown some wax softening drops, well not thrown, <laughs> put some wax softening drops in. And when they put the wax softening drops in, what happened is this plug of wax actually moved, softened, gone deeper into the canal, unfortunately, uh, and then stuck to the ear canal wall and stuck in this recess. Now. Um, yeah, they, they did go along to the GP first just for them to take a look and, and the, uh, the the GP surgery had said, yep, it's definitely wax, put some drops in, it's going to sort that out. But unfortunately, in this case, it went backwards instead of coming out of the ear canal. Um, oh, the reason I'm not appearing on the screen today, I'll be really honest, we've got some training today and I'm in my civilian clothes and I forgot to bring my uniform with me, so I'm just going to do a voiceover just because it's easier for me and quicker, to be honest. So I'm just going to get uh, this little deep section of wax away. You can see we're lifting out of that anterior recess. Now I know you guys like a good anterior recess removal. Now what you can see here is this wax is built up in layers. So we've got dry layer with a sandwich of kind of sticky wax in the middle and another dry layer going on top. Uh, so it's coming away really well. Uh, what would be a good food analogy for this one? Uh, s'mores? That's an American thing I think. Uh, we have marshmallow in between is it like biscuits or wafers or something? So that kind of thing. Uh, so that's the kind of layers we've got here, kind of hard, then sticky, then hard layers. But we're slowly peeling this away, just breaking this down. Now we've got to be quite careful here, obviously. We're right on top of the eardrum. We're in all the sensitive parts of the ear. Um, so you know, your, your patient, you're always very, very aware uh, of your patient and how they're feeling doing this particular procedure when it's this deep. Um, so we're always checking in with our patient. The other thing we'll be checking on a lot is whether the patient's experiencing any dizziness because that can happen. When we're deeper in the canal, uh, you're drawing a lot of cold air right the way down the ear canal and right against the eardrum and that can give you something called the caloric effect which is where if the air behind the eardrum sort of chills and cools then the balance system that sits the other side of the middle ear space there uh, the liquid in there also becomes just a little bit thicker uh, and that can make people feel a little bit dizzy in extreme cases patients can faint uh, if, if they sort of carry on but our advice to patients when we're doing this is if you do feel any dizziness just let me know and we'll take all the tools out of the ear the temperature will equalize very very quickly within a couple of minutes and they'll feel right as rain uh, but we're doing well to get this out you can see a poly this section look at it coming from the recess there so all lifting up out of the recess just at first glance it didn't appear like a tremendous amount of wax down there and at first it appeared really really soft but when you start pulling it out you can see just how much was hiding in all the nooks and crannies around the side there as well so we're just going to see if we can clear this top section always an awkward bit to get to this bit of the top just because you're working with very straight tools, you've got to work around the bends, and you're also very aware of something called chop sticking at this point, which is where your suction tube uh, passes over the top of the rod of the endoscope and can click and flick off the top, and that's called chop sticking. So you're always a little bit uh, wary about that as well when you're deeper in the canal. That's all that would appear like would be a very sudden movement. So you'd be able to put a little bit of pressure on the, the suction tube to move sideways. You'll feel a little bit of resistance and flick, it would come off the top and it would travel very quickly across the canal wall. So you've got to be really careful with that as well. So we're just getting rid of these last couple of squishy bits. Let's see if we can get rid of our last tiny bit there. There we go. Eardrum looking so much better. So this is what it looked like when we started. And we'll put it back to this is what it looks like now. So patient hearing so much better. We've got rid of it. It looks really pathetic on here. It's just over a centimeter. Um, probably, yeah, I would say just over a centimeter. So just probably squished together just under half an inch there. 
Um, but you imagine that pressed down against the tip of your little finger. So that's the kind of size and, and uh, sort of uh, size wise we're looking at here. Ah, this patient, uh, lovely gent came through, had a bit of a, an issue with work. This is patient uh, works in a, in a bar um, they were changing a barrel uh, and the, obviously the barrels pressurized and uh, as they put the uh, cap on the top of the barrel basically uh, it's plunged into the barrel and then you get a lot of this sort of beer basically sprayed up and into his ear uh, so it, it had sort of really softened this uh, wax plug patient was experiencing a lot of pain now what I did wanted to do here was to remove this plug so we can get a good look at the eardrum now you know if you do get a force uh, you know especially something like a force of liquid hitting the side of the head or anything really that hits the side of the head uh, does have the potential to perforate the eardrum especially if you hit square onto the outer part of the ear canal so I just wanted to remove this because the patient had experienced some discomfort for a couple of days that had eased off now there was no trace of any bleeding or anything here but we just wanted to get a good look at the drum so we needed to remove this wax first just to see what's going on here we are just maneuvering this you can see it's this uh very granular uh type wax here now um our, our new trainee uh, came up with a really good description of this. This is almost like when you melt butter and sugar together and it's the sugar hasn't quite dissolved. That's a really, I thought that was a brilliant explanation to what this actually uh, feels like and what it looks like as well. It's that slightly gritty um, liquid almost. It's a really strange, strange sensation. So you can see now we're just lifting uh, from the base of the canal here, these softer bits. Don't forget to stay tuned for the last patient gate. It's a, it's a short one, but a really good one. And you know why I say it's a really good one, you know it's gonna be a good one. So we're just getting rid of these last couple of pieces, just peeling off the canal wall. There we go, lifting. You can see a little bit of the skin peeling away as well. The patient has been putting some olive oil in here just to try and uh, counteract some of this um, this dryness, if you like, to the uh, to the wax as well, just to soften up and prepare it for us today. So just tidying up around the outside there. So a little bit of hoovering up around there, some of these softer little squishy bits. You can see me dropping over the top of this. And the reason I'm doing that is a lot of loose skin here at the entrance. Now, if we start peeling this, it's gonna peel all the way down the ear canal. So we're just dropping over the top and pulling back. Eardrum's intact. This is what it looked like to start with. This is what it looks like now. So no damage done to the eardrum there. Um, patient very relieved to find that out. Uh, this is the patient's other ear canal here. No, it's not. No, this is a third patient. I'm so sorry. This is our third patient. Oh, no, this is the really interesting one. This is actually uh, skin. So this is keratosis obturans, but it's gone really, really dry. The skin's gone almost like keratin. Tough as old boots. It does not want to come out easily, and it is the full husk, almost like a cocoon, a chrysalis, if you like, in this particular patient's ear canal. Watch this coming away. It's a short one. I didn't think I'd be able to get away this easily, but just drop the Jobson horn into the bottom and pulling forwards. Have a look at this coming away. Keep your eye on the screen. I've slowed everything down because it is a bit of a kind of blink and you miss it moment. So we've got a good grip on it. We're drawing it forward. Now here I thought I've just pulled the front end of this off. Look at this coming away though. It's absolutely huge. This is actually a... Um, the top layer of skin from all the way around the ear canal collapsing in, hardening up. So this is almost a perfect skin, dead skin cast of the ear canal. Look at that. That is huge. It's And that is tough. And when I say, you can see the layers are smooth. So it's basically, that, that is the shape of the ear canal all the way down to the eardrum, basically on this particular patient. Um, it's it's such a, a it's so so tough you could barely get the Jobson horn in there we were lucky to get a grip here we'll take a quick look at the eardrum it doesn't you know it does look a little bit messy but this is what it looked like to start with this is what it looks like now so patient hearing and got instant relief and look at the size of that that's two centimeters uh, oh my god 13 sixteenths of an inch they got to be super duper super precise but look at it from the whole thing. I'm gonna pick it up in a second I'm gonna turn it around in front of the camera that is basically an entire skin cast of the eardrum look at that piece that is not small by anyone's stretch that flat side you could see there at the back end that was actually covering the eardrum so you can see just how this had fitted in the ear canal wow that was a good one uh well guys i hope you enjoyed that one as much as i did voice over i know you enjoyed that last one if you did let me know in the comment section below if you really enjoyed it give us a like and if you don't subscribe already please subscribe to the channel i keep forgetting to say that bit uh, but as always guys take care of your ears take care of your cells and take care of one another and i shall see you again on friday all the best guys Bye bye